Hello. <laughs> What's going on? How's everyone? On this lovely Friday night. Yeah, so it's been a couple of weeks since I've live streamed. Uh, lots of stuff going on with the family. Uh, couldn't really make it. So, do apologize, but I think things are getting better and I'm live and stream that night. I'm taking it easy, so. Doing good. Doing good. Uh, I'm actually talking to Psychotic Moon Moon. I'm going to give it a couple of minutes and see you guys for a second, you know? And uh, I'm going to switch over and talk to him. So, today I'm going to be working on community, but I did want to do something. Spread it over there. Let's go, Black Cat. <laughs> Would it take your coffee? Give me all your coffee. Uh, Jado said to do yellow windows. I'm gonna try it out for this like little tower build I've got. I'm just gonna try it out. It's probably way too much. There we go. something to knock out and then once we get this done then I'm gonna switch over and talk to Moo. Uh, I haven't talked to these guys in two weeks so it's kind of crazy. It's weird. How does yellow look on this? I, I kind of like the I like the magenta a little bit. Uh, can you imagine just walking down the street and seeing people hissing each other? <laughs> Seriously. Just, ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> it'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh, look, I've got uh, some grass. I'll use it. Uh, moss blocks, I guess, is what I've been using, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, just people on all four, just like. <laughs> you gotta love creepers. Waffle wall knows. He suffered the pain with me, he knows. And then you can never quite get it right again. It's like, ugh. Okay, so. Here we go. I think I, uh, that'll do for now. That's okay. Trapdoors are missing. I've got all kinds of stuff. I don't know where that creeper spawned because I have like a spawn free zone. Look at this. I've got carpet on top of my roof. Roof. Have a roof. Anyways, I got to try this black cat coffee out. It sounds pretty cool. Honestly. Creepers are a menace to the Minecraft society. I do agree. They are of such undesirable they're disgusting that's why we have cats to hiss at them literally in minecraft I need to get some cats and just litter them around here you know be the weird cat guy on the server everyone's like why you got cats over there look at my cat man it's all gone now <laughs> That's really disappointing. <laughs> Sounds like you're gonna have to brew some more. Okay, I can do with yellow. Um, I don't know. Yellow just kind of comes off to me as more of like a common choice than like magenta. I don't know. I mean, it looks good, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll stick with. It. I'll have to let it grow on me. I guess you could say. Have an army of cats, make a cat wall. That's it. That's what I want in life. Whoa, this isn't. Whoa, okay. Really? Really? Seriously, Minecraft? I hate creepers of the dying passion. It's awful. I don't even think I have sandstone. Oh, I'll just make sandstone. It's not sandstone. That's that's new sand. That's new sandstone. I need this. Oh, this makes me sick.
Oh no. There's two stairs there. Okay, I'll just get it later. The body takes 30 minutes. Just you have time to obtain the coffee. Oh, that's nice. What about green, green, pink go together? I like pink. I like pink and green. Those are good choices. I'll fix it later. Uh, that's the only thing about like building when you're detail building and then you got to rebuild it when a creeper blows it up. It sucks. Okie doke. Yeah, I'm just going to I'm just going to be lazy tonight. I'm not even going to like put things in the proper place. I'll get it later. It's all good. And I had a shulker out here, right? We're going to pick it back up. Oh, we're good. And it's full. I don't know why the word green popped up two times. Green, green. <laughs> it's not just green. It's green, green. Get it right. Uh, anyways, yes, I am in chat with Moo. So uh, let me unmute myself and we'll talk to him a little bit. Oh, he's on mute. He's on mute. That's okay. And let me, I am just not prepared tonight whatsoever. Like I have not really played Minecraft in two weeks. So I'm just not prepared for anything tonight. Anyways, yeah, I do have shulkers for spawn. So that's good. We'll go on over. By the way, it's good to see you guys. I missed you guys. What is this? What is this? I don't I'm no I don't recognize this. In portal concrete maker? They got it all finished? Let me just go check this out real quick. I could just fly. <laughs> uh Okay, there's uh, one concrete maker, so I guess they're doing multiple ones. That's cool. I was thinking green because the building could be like a watermelon theme. That's actually pretty sweet. I like that. Oh, this looks good. Like deep slate mixed with deep slate coal. Ah, yes. Blockheads. Yes. Welcome back. Oh, this is just a sand duper or a concrete duper, I think. Oh, no, my messenger is going off. Hold on a second real quick. Oh, okay. Wife says she's feeling bad right now. Just check on that real quick. There we go. Oh yeah, so it's just a duper machine. I guess it's like Ray Works design or something. Okay, I'm back. Oh, come back. I'm streaming right now, so just letting you know. Yeah, I'm watching it. All right, all right. Why the colors of all the colors? It's a good question. Pink yeah, makes me so, want to throw up. Uh -uh. So the way that works is you choose what colors you want to do. If you go inside the room there, there's in that there's a uh, barrels that have the colored concrete. You can okay. Send whatever color you want to send through. One of them is strictly for uh, sand and gravel, though. No concrete goes through one of them. Okay, I see. So. You guys have like a, uh... okay. So you just manually place them into the dupers and they go through. Yep. You just place them on top. You just place them on top of the, uh, up against the portal. Oh, uh, you like the leaves blocks or whatever. Oh, oh, okay. I see right here. Okay. On the slime blocks up against the portal. Yeah. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. And then you just turn it on and it will send it back. It will send it through. Very nice. Well, you had built this on the season one, but I didn't, we didn't really use it. Yeah, yeah, I we, mean, we were uh, like, we forgot where it was for the longest time, so. Yeah, we've got four different ones. That's you funny. don't want to run it when people are online, because it, uh... Oof. A little rough, huh? Oh, yeah, it's rough, because when you got that much stuff coming through the end portal, so it's, it, gets, it gets rough quick. Yeah, I would say so. the way I see it when we go to reset for 18 
out past certain areas if those areas get reset i'll just rebuild them they're not hard to build it's more it's more of the it's more time consuming digging it out than it was to build them yeah i'd say so it's like it goes really fast Trying to think of some things to build over here as a community thing. We're just going to kind of shape it up and make it look a little bit nicer. What's going on? Iska. I think that's how we say it. I wanted to, um, once I finish my build over here, I'm, I want to, I want to build like a, a rocket area for us to go get where we can keep our different rockets and stuff. Ooh, nice. I like a rocket storage house. I wish I had friends to build a world like this, but then again, I don't because I don't really like socializing. Ah, you should like it. Yeah, we have a lot of fun. Black yeah, we, yeah, a yeah, a lot of good signs. Big projects too. Struggles to be anti-social person. I can be anti-social, but when it comes to people on Minecraft, I'm not. Like, I don't know, I'm really social with people on the game. But like in my local area, it's just a bunch of rednecks, so I don't really like to talk to them. Like, you been hunting or fishing? I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> like, I don't hunt or fish. Well, I fish sometimes, but big on hunting. Everyone hunts around here. Ooh, it's alien leaves. What mods have you and me, MC? I have quite a few, actually. Um, I got client side, so I got like all the Masa mods, pretty much. I got you know Lightmatica, Mini HUD, uh, Tweakeru. So, you know, I could just do this and it's like conveniences, I guess you could say. I'm just going to play around with something, some stuff here, see what we can do. Like it. Very nice. Took our jibs. Yeah. It's not like I don't like the idea of friends. It's just that I don't know how to handle emotions. So I wouldn't really be a good friend because if they need someone to lean on, uh, I think it depends on what kind of friends you're making. Like, I don't know. It's probably a weird thing to say, but I find that like a lot of, I don't know. I'm, I'm 30 years old. So like a lot of people I'm befriending is they're a little bit older and it seems like, yeah a lot less drama in this age group yeah i think uh most of us i i think our median age over here is probably in the mid to upper 30s for blockheads now yeah i know pale and i i know pale and i and desperate i know i know i'm in, i'm almost 40 i'm 39 i think pale's in his late 30s early 40s so is despot it makes a big difference, man. I, I've played with, like, you know, I've played with teenagers on Waystone, yeah. and it is, it's, it's, it can be, it can be rough sometimes. I was born in the wrong generation then. <laughs> it's all good. You'll get there. Or, I don't know, if you're, if you are, I don't know if you are or not. I'm not, not making assumptions. I am making assumptions. <laughs> Uh, it generally gets better though. Like the older you get, just it's just everything chills out a little bit more. People are starting to figure things out. Oh yeah, most definitely. Uh, it's so much better. You're twenty. That's yeah. I mean, you're you're out of the teens, so you can almost do everything. Right. You got five more years and then you can, and then you're a full fledged adult. That's right. And then you have nothing else to look forward to as far as birthdays go. Yep. I say 25 is a magic number because you can rent a car at 25. <laughs> yeah, I never really thought about that. 
you can't rent a car until you're 25 which is so stupid at, uh, at 25 i thought okay maybe you know insurance gets lowered that's the only thing i could really think of i didn't really think about the written the car thing that's cool no too many leads it's just not gonna work dang it Twenty is a good age. I miss being twenty. I don't. Like you didn't really have responsibilities. Like, oh, I didn't. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I did. I had a lot. Oh, did you? I was in the army at twenty, so. I oh had a lot wow. Okay. Yeah, that's. The, yeah, I could see that being. Yeah, I was a. When I was twenty, I was a lifeguard, just living at my parents' house. You know, going to college and just not care about anything so yeah still with my mom that's fine there's nothing wrong with that nope nothing wrong with it at all take your time yeah take really your time. Yeah. Man, take your time everyone in your age group's gonna be like ah you need to move out but really just take your time enjoy it while you can it's like heck yeah man i was i mean i was 17 when i left home wow that's early black cats like living with his mom you know just chilling at home having some coffee that i want there's nothing wrong with that it's all good it's all good yeah i joined the army in 99 oh okay well, i had my 17 i had my 18th birthday when i was already gone that's crazy man that's uh Wild. That's my 21st birthday in Iraq. I didn't even know you were in the military. Yeah, I'm retired. I medically retired 14 years ago. Did they have like, is that kind of how you started your design stuff? Like did the military have like a program or are you just like a passion driven? A uh, passion thing. I'm so, I was all self-taught and then I just went and got my credentials. Oh, wow. Certifications to hold a better job to get paid for what I did even though I did what I was doing to start making the better money oh yeah that's the way to do it yeah, man it hurts really passion driven is like that's you know it's great yep I just I, I just finished school I, I just uh, went back to college and got another I got another degree um, as a golf pro so wow my passion I play golf in my in my free time fancy fancy it's so stress relieving i'd say so uh, it sounds really fun um let me think here what else could go in this it's the only leisure sport you pay to piss yourself off <laughs> <laughs> that's the way i see it Here's a, uh, I mean, I played, all around. I somehow never played full golf, but I played a lot of mini golf. I really like mini I golf. It's mini fun. Golf just practice putting. Not going to lie. I bring my putter out when I play with my kids mm -hmm. and like, cause we have pop stroke down here and that's a lot of fun. So I bring my own putter and they let you. I bring a sand wedge too, or a, 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 and my 60 degree, and I'll be out there hitting it off the mat, and they don't care. Oh, wow. A lot of golf, pro, a, a lot of us pros do it like that. That's cool, man. Got an interest, interesting life, man. That's the beauty of being retired. You can do, you can do that kind of stuff. I don't have to work, um, so I do whatever I want. I can get up whenever I want. Don't gotta worry about all like all my bills are paid out every month. Don't oh, worry about nice. it. If I want to go back to work, I can, but it's on my own time. I just can't work a certain amount, or I'll lose money. Like the idea of that.
see. Guess we could. Uh, a little too stony. Stony. Yeah, that's all right. I'm just glad to be home. My back's my back's killing me right now. Yeah, I don't blame you, man. It was a it, it was a long ride all the way to Rapid City. Uh, it's hard for me to even deal with like long distance anymore. I used to do it a lot about five years ago or so. It just seemed to you know go to different places. I still do. It's just a lot more tasking. After you've done it well, like so long, up, we did it in four days, going up. But on the way back, we did it in uh, two and a half days, almost three days. Wow, quick. Yeah. Eight, nine hundred mile days. I mean, that sucks. It was twenty. It's twenty two hundred miles one way. Ooh. Yeah. And on a motorcycle. Oh my god. Ooh, it's rough. They had some saddle sores, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I've, I've always wanted a uh, street bike, but I've always, you know, had when I was little, I had a little Honda. Loved it. Yeah, I've got, I've got two. I've got one that I, it's a chopper that I, I kind of, I bought it brand new, and then I tore it apart. It was a Harley. Ooh. Stretched out the front end, lowered it a little bit, chopped wow. it up, and then my other one is a, is a, a full dresser. Like I've always played with the idea of buying one, but I'm like, man, I'd probably end up getting killed on it or something. It's not with me. That's why I didn't buy a, uh, like a sports bike. Yeah, that's that's a you good know, point. I would do something stupid. Because when I was younger, I would have done. I did. I did stupid stuff on sports bikes. Yeah, I know I would. Because <laughs> I'm a speed yeah. addict. Like I'm. Like if I'm on, if, you know, if I'm just driving a normal car, I'm good. Like I don't feel the need for speed or anything. But if I'm on something that goes fast, like I want to go fast. That's that's my problem. Well, we were running 80, 85, 80, 85 most of the way up until we hit South Dakota, and then the speed limit changed. Up, well, in Iowa, it went up to um, eighty miles an hour. Jeez. So then we're running like ninety, ninety-five. <laughs> it's something. Black cat says the same. And all the traffic because we want to stay in front of all the cars. Oh man, it's a good time though. Oh yeah, it was good to see all my brothers up there. Except for, except for the meetings, I mean, Mount Rushmore was awesome. I went to Deadwood. That was that was actually really cool. Got to see uh, Wild Bill Hickok's death chair. Oh, that's cool. They still have it. They say that that's the one thing they saved from the, the fire. Black Cat says, I love motorcycles. They're nice. I, I'm, I'm really bad at keeping up with models and stuff, but I like motorcycles. Uh, more of the concept of it than digging in the models and all that stuff. Yep. I've always wanted a uh, Honda Shadow. But Those are nice bikes. They're good learning bikes. They look good too. They're good looking bikes. The new ones actually look really good. I haven't seen the newer models. Uh, they, I mean, a lot of them are starting to mirror off of Harley and Indian. Um, but I mean, because those are the two big manufacturers out there. But there's a lot of uh, good rice burners out there that easy maintenance and they look and they look really good too you know something else i know i'm leaning like toward honda a lot but and although it kind of strays away from the traditional look uh i really like gold wings and stuff like they'd be great for like long trips um yeah i'm actually i was actually looking at buying a, a gold wing trike uh because of my hand i can't really hold the clutch anymore 
I've had surgery on my hand twice, and I'm going to have to have surgery again, probably. Uh, I keep getting trigger finger. Oh, yeah. So I can't squeeze a clutch for a long, long period of time. And the, the trikes and gold wings are automatic. Oh, that'd be nice. I didn't realize they were automatic. Yep, you can actually get you can actually get the gold wings in automatic. You can't get a Harley like that. You can get a gold wing automatic. Ooh, which is actually pretty damn cool in my that, opinion. It's really cool, especially for someone who's got bad hands and stuff like that. And it's just a, I bet it's just a cruiser, man. I bet it's just uh. Yeah. Well, I mean, they got V sixes on those damn bikes now, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, our Harleys are still V twins. That's something. They have six cylinder underneath the un, underneath that gas tank. It's like, what the hell do I need that much power for? Yeah, that's a lot of power, man. Jeez. Doing a lot of flower and garden stuff. I don't know what I think about it yet. Using a lot of leaves. Jungle leaves. I swear I have seen Black Cat in another, in, in other streams somewhere. I don't know where, but I recognize the name. Hmm. Curious. I don't know. Maybe. question is black cat do you recognize moo that's, yeah that's a good question my I cat is going one. crazy right now no sherman leave me alone stop it i fed you this evening As soon as I say something, like I probably shouldn't even say anything, he just goes crazy. He's just... I was catching up on my YouTube when I got home, and this one guy I watched, he's been he's been doing a hardcore world for just over a year, and he died to a uh, cow. A cow? Yeah. How that so worked out? He had a whole area where he had cows, and he was breeding them all, and fell into a hole. Oh, entity cramming. Yep. Uh <laughs> yeah, that sucks, man. That's real weird. That's a, that's a, actually a really good story for the hardcore world stuff. That I mean, I don't know why. If he after he saw that he couldn't get out, change your hand take the wheat out of your hand and they'll, and they'll leave you alone. They'll go away. They'll walk away from you. Wow. Or just start swinging, just start punching them and they'll run away. That's what I would have done. Yeah, I would have done something. I don't know. But probably, he probably didn't even think about it. Honestly, entity cramming though, dying from it, it seems like it's very fast. Like you got to act fast. Yeah. What's your question, Black Cat? Question away. Alright, this music's a little slow for me. But I need something a little synth wave. What well, has a face and two hands but no arms or legs? Clock. Hmm. What is it? Clock. You, you heard him. Let me say that the answer. I am so bad at riddles, like you, yeah. You have no idea. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> yeah, clock. Wow. I feel like I should have known that one. Showing my age there. Ooh, that looks nice. 
using bushes and moss blocks together to make like a wall is really cool. A mossy like, oh yeah, that's nice. Do a better one. <laughs> Bring it on. There's always like this certain subset of people who are so good at riddles, and I have Phil and Moo as part of this. What will you actually find at the end of every rainbow? The gold? <laughs> uh, well, nothing really, because a rainbow keeps going on. You can never get really to the end of it. Yeah, I could see that being a refraction and all. Yeah. I'm starting to like the brick a little bit. That's well, kind of cool. be like a puddle of water or something. I think something would be there, but... Yeah, that's what I'm going to guess. That's probably why they say that there's always, like, you know, a pot of gold yeah, or something, because you never get to it. The letter W. How's that? For a Volkswagen? I really hope it's the Lucky Charms guy. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> all right, yeah, I like the leaves. I mean, it's a simple decoration, just kind of go to, but I'm like, it. it's all right. Donkey, yeah, that's where you. That's what you find at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> Go on, donkey. Okay. Every time I hear "donk," they can think the word "donkey." I think of Shrek. Yeah, I'm always thinking of Shrek donkey <laughs> for some reason. Yep. It's, it's, I don't know. It just it just goes with it for some reason. It really does, because I guess it's like as a name, it's like oh, that's his name in the show. So. Yep. Okay, so I wish there was like a red slab. Granite. Okay, that didn't take very long. And acacia. Uh, it wouldn't really fit, just need granite. Granite, yay! Well, normally, cat, uh, black cat, there's normally, whenever you see one rainbow, there's multiple. It just depends on what, how much of the light spectrum you can actually see. Polished. God, I love having double jump. Sir. I've got a beacon. I've got um all five. I've got five uh, beacons set up now. That's nice. Oh, it's like having like all the effects and stuff. Yep. And all of my different missile silos that I built, I put a, a beacon in each one. Gum. I looked outside my window and saw them. We'll see. Between twin Rambos. Have you had your daily donkey's nectar yet? <laughs> Not quite yet. <laughs> I didn't know that. I want to feel special, so I will get to call them twin Rambos. <laughs> Three times a day, Sir Donkey. <laughs> Daily medicine for Waffles Law. Alright, there we go. This area is just... See, I'm just sprucing this area, but it's not... I'm not quite going overboard with the decorations, but... That's okay. Just making it look a little prettier. Uh, I could guess do some moss blocks, moss carpets for lights. Got a mommy. Oh no. 
I just got 50. Got no mail, I'm good. I was setting and a water uh, bug ran at me, got it through the window. How about that? Pray for me. And when I'm th when I hear water bug, I think of the like, they're like the big, you know, I guess like the big roaches, I guess. Oh yeah. No, uh, they're not really. I don't know. Everyone, I I don't know. My wife is from the city, and she's like, they're a roach, but I don't see them as a roach. No. Oh, my inventory gets so full so fast. They've got to do something about it. They need to give us more inventory space. Yes. Uh, I wouldn't be opposed to being like, you know, nine more slots. Like, that'd be fine. Or, I would be, as much as they want to give us, like, we need it. Yeah. This is all kind of decorated. Like a backpack that we can carry another 27 items. Yeah. This looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. No, we'll see. I'm gonna work on a bridge, I guess. Shut up, sheep. Because I can just go the straight bridge for. Modern building, I don't really want to do a curve, I don't think. I think it looks a lot better just flat. The weird as that is. My brain's like arch it, arch it, but I don't know. Yeah, we gotta put some uh whatchamacallits in here too. Street lamps. Oh yeah, we definitely need those. We can get rid of all that torch spam. Gotta think of a cool uh cool design for one. The ones that uh, Hex has been building in the nether are pretty good. I like those. Yeah, they're nice. And they're not too intricate. I mean, they're easy enough to do. It's shroom light. It, well, it, they're shroom lights. So they don't put off as much light, but... Fuzzled. I'm no guessing way. stone bricks gonna be the best way. Yeah, I'll just use this. Need something to put some stuff in. Jeez. Okay, doke. So, should I have some stone here? Ooh, yeah, my connection to the server is kind of. Oop. Yeah, it is. You're down to three. Yeah, it's rough, man. I'm filling up. Okay, cyan. Maybe some white concrete and stone bricks. Yeah, stone bricks. Uh, 
Okay, let me. Sorry, let me catch up with you, Black Cat. He said true. I was thinking that earlier today, but I think they only made it so that people in survival could come back to their stuff without worrying about losing their stuff in the end. Hello. Oh no! Get him out! Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's up, buddy? How much were you doing? Uh, working on spawn stuff. Working on spawn stuff. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, been all right, I guess. <laughs> doing something. <laughs> well, I mean, better than nothing. I guess. Yeah, very true. I'm trying to gather gold. about adding a little something to convert all the gold into oh. the nuggets into ingots and ingots into blocks. I built a little contraption in creative that does that said task. It's your fancy. Yeah. I love the cards of mine. Yeah, carbon mods are really nice. Uh, super big convenience. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Especially in creative. Yeah. It's like it's true power. Then it's like, uh, but nice. Like, Everyone is gangster until the water bug starts flying. Oh yeah, that's kind of spooky. You call them water bugs there too? That's like the roach-looking things. The ones that like run around lakes and stuff and like they're like well the one i'm thinking of is like a it looks like a roach that sometimes gets in your house i don't know oh like the real dark dark they're almost black but they're really brown but they're super super like a wood roach yeah yeah i know what you're talking about yeah but i hate them we have them around here i think they're everywhere I think yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. I don't think there's a way to really stop them from. I know my wife like she calls them roaches. So I'm like it's not a roach. It's a wood roach or a water bug. Yeah. I don't know how to explain. It. I don't see them as roaches anyways. But yeah, they are a little bit like jarring when you first see. Them. I'm like, oh no, am I? And I'm like, oh no, I'm good. This right. is just right. Like this, yeah, that's so true. That's what it, is. <laughs> it does look like. That. My simpleton bridge. And that's why we need concrete stairs and slabs. Yes. I'm going to end up getting some quartz to do this, but it would be so nice. Yeah. Concrete slabs and stairs would be wonderful. Oh, uh, we need it so bad. Oh. That, and we need more wall decorations or something. Something just... Black cats are there talking about bugs, and I'm not... I'm just going to draw the bugs that I ran into going across <laughs> the freaking <Missouri. laughs> No, it's the breeding season soon. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> almost love bug season for us now. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, My beard turns black when that happens. I'm not real big on spiders. Not real big on those. Spiders don't bother me. Banana spiders bother me. I hate, but oh my god, I'm terrified banana of those spiders. Are huge. What is yeah, it called? I'm terrified. A banana, a banana spider. spider. I don't think I've ever seen one. Oh, they're I'm huge. terrified of them. They're great big. They're black and yellow. Really long legs, but kind really of really smaller legs, body. Yeah. Well, kind of, no, more kind of like a medium sized body. Really. Oh, yeah. I got. I got to check this out. Hold on. Let me, let me check this in. Let me check into this. A banana spider. The ugliest spider known to man. 
hate them. I'd rather mess with Oh, them. wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, that's something. And they, they, they go in bananas? Oh, well, oh, I think that's... they got their name because of their yellowness. From the yellow one. It's actually yeah, a really not... pretty spider, but yeah, I mean, it's huge. Really cool oh, they're terrifying. And they move. They, they move quick, too. Yeah, they're quick um... and they can jump. They can jump pretty good, too. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know about that. Then. I'm walking in the woods and I see one. I turn around and go the other way. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm over for the day. If don't blame one, me. There's a bunch. It's spooky. Yeah, uh, uh, I don't, I, I don't, I don't do banana spiders. Yeah, I don't know about those, man. I think they're really pretty, but I don't think I, I think I'd be pretty spooked by them. Yeah, yeah, I, I can do anything but a banana spider. Black Widow, no problem. Brown Recluse, eh, okay. And Black yeah, Widows are really pretty too. Oh, he doesn't Widow like spiders. spiders. <laughs> tarantulas are, there's some tarantulas that are really cool looking, like the cobalt blues and the pink toad. Uh, now, yeah, I've I'm always gonna, had a fascination I'm about wanting to own a tarantula. I want a tarantula. I know somebody that, like, sells them. They would be sweet. They'd be, be really sweet because, like, you can. They say they're really good pets too. Like, you know, you could just you tap they them really or whatever, are. and they fold up, and you could just hold them. Yeah, they're really pretty docile if you handle them pretty well. See, yeah, I, I can't. can't into, um, I can't. If I get bit by a tarantula, it could kill me. Well, I mean, it could kill a lot of people. But it could kill them. Yeah. Well, well, I'm allergic to these. Oh, uh, well, yeah, you'd have to keep the coffee yeah. around. Yeah, but I have to keep the coffee oh, injector around when I just touch it. Yeah. Just in case it bites me. Do they just, like, inject enough venom or something, or? For some reason, if you have a severe allergy to bee stings, a uh, tarantula bite could kill you. Oh, I didn't know like, that. For, yeah, for some <laughs> reason. I, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's bad. That's kind of spooky. Yeah, like spiders don't bother me, but and I and I would never, I wouldn't be scared of a tarantula. It's just the fact that if it bites me, it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, it yeah, I'd be. say so. Especially Black Widow is actually my favorite sweater. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, he must be talking about uh, uh, Scarlett Johansson. Oh yeah, uh, that's everybody's favorite sweater. Black Widow, yeah. Um, let me think here. I like Black Widows. I think they're fascinating, but I save them whenever I see them. I don't kill them. I just like relocate them so they're not like in the house or something. Yeah, I relocate them too. Same with Brown Lacluse. Yeah. Uh, Black Widows, I kill. I kill them. I have I have young kids in my house. Oh, yeah, that's understandable. I don't want them making their way back. Same thing with brown recluses. Like I'll, I'll just I'll stomp on them and get rid of them. But most other spiders, I especially wolf spiders. Oh my god, I love those things. Oh, yeah, they're cool. My favorite spider is a. Um, what is that damn thing called? Uh, they're in the desert. Camel? Camel spiders. Those things are huge. Yes. Yeah, they're huge. But they're so much fun. I think people kind of exaggerate the uh, size of them sometimes, but they are really big. Well, that one image that everybody sees that came from Maxwell Magazine, Yeah. that was actually two spiders. Oh, uh, okay. That wasn't one. That was two. Now, they do get big. They do get they big. And run fast. Mm -hmm. But they're not chasing you to bite you or to hurt you. They're chasing you because they're, they're chasing the shade. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. The shadow. They just get hot. Yeah. They want okay. your shadow. They don't yeah, care about you. No, they're hot. They want to cool off. That's cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. 
you can just stand there and they'll just walk up to you and just chill. Yep, as long as they hang out in your shadow, you move, they move. Yeah, <laughs> they'll follow you around. That's cool. Do they bite at all? I mean, has anybody ever got bit by well, one? They can bite you, but it's not, it's, they're not really harmful to humans. Um, yeah, it, it'll leave a welt and you'll have two little bite marks where it got you, but. Bite marks. No, that's not bad. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're more harmful to certain, to other animals than they are to um, humans. Yeah, that's not bad at all. A couple of welts or something. Yeah. I was thinking it might be like really nasty or something. Oh no, no, no! I mean, some of those things are not—they're not bad at all. I think they were just played out from a lot of the people seeing pictures of them in like Maximal magazine or stuff and freaking <laughs> out because they're huge ass spiders. They're not—I mean, they're not that bad. No, they're big, but they're not that big. I think they're fascinating because they can run so freaking fast. That is really cool. Yeah, I've seen them run. They're pretty crazy. They'll kill a scorpion quick, I'll tell you that. Kind of oh yeah, I've seen them where they put it in the bucket with the scorpion on YouTube. Yeah, that's what we did in Iraq a lot. We'd have um, bug fights. Friday night bug fights. This has got bets, like... <laughs> <laughs> it would be too. It was like, it was like prison with betting cigarettes and stuff like that. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, soldiers that are sitting around waiting for something to pop off are really I mean, bored. That's dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they get really, really bored. Oh, yeah, we do. We get bored so fast. Skeleton, if you shoot me one more time, I'm gonna feed you to my friends. Feed him anyway. I deserve it. Gonna go for a bit, donkey. Back later. All right, see you, donkey. Have a good one, donkey. 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 Oh, donkey. Hello, donkey. Hello, donkey. When I hear donkey, I just want to say it, donkey. What is Shrek with that? I mean, come on. Right. Yeah. Hello, donkey. I can't do it. Can't do that, it, Shrek. That's too, that's too Australian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where my shulkers are. They're all in my inventory. Okay. Or where you left them. Man, uh, I'm actually looking for end rods. I don't know if Hex had some over here or not. And rods. I think I have some still. Just, just, just need like, box. I don't know, probably four I of them. A whole bunch when I was doing the end thing out there. X might have some here. Let me check. This looks like his boxes. Any opportunity I get to steal from Hex, I'll do it. That's the one person. That's that's like a rule by now, isn't it? Yeah, it's a tradition. I mean, it's, like... it's just, it has to happen. <laughs> Fair enough. Or I could do, oh, actually, I got an idea. I got two light blue sea glass, and if I had like a sea lantern or something. Sea lantern? A glowstone would probably work. Uh, yeah, close to be fine. I want to show that to you. This little, uh, so I want to trash my NASA building. At, do uh, when I finish my NASA building. Uh, I am building, I'm going to build a, another, I'm going to dig another perimeter. Uh -huh. Ooh. I think, I think I'm going to go 128 by 128. Okay. Uh, so I can put in nine modules for a creeper farm. 
Did you see my attachment for a creeper farm? No, I haven't. I haven't looked at. It. All right, let me read this here. You brought back my memory. I forgot. I knew that fact. That's why I just carry an umbrella. If any one of them try to run at me, I just set an umbrella and ground. Leave it there. That's sweet. It's a good way to do it. Because if they really wanted more shade, they could just have the whole umbrella. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I think if I put my inside there, because if I do a 128 by 128, let's say I do a, instead of a 9 pot, I do like a 12 pot or something like that, or a 15 potter, mm -hmm. that would increase my, it will almost double my output gunpowder. I would, I'm going to have to put my, uh, uh, what you want to call it there, my sugarcane farm. That you've seen oh yeah take that all the way down go all the way up from bedrock all the way up and then build that so that way i can have it auto crafting rockets nice rocket factory yeah, I, like I, have the all, idea. I have all three i have all three of them made make one twos and threes i have that i don't know if i still have the schematic i'd have on i probably don't but I had, I had built a contraption that did exactly that too. You selected the level of rockets that you wanted to craft and everything pre-starting the machine. And That's cool. You fired it up and it would. Well, with make a creeper exactly waterfall, with a creeper waterfall, I'll have I'll have enough gunpowder coming in where I can actually probably craft have three different setups for the different rockets coming in because the gunpowder is going to be coming through so fast it's going to happen to have multiple systems oh yeah because what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to have every have the creepers die in the in the nether and then have all the items sent back into the overworld yeah it, make, it makes it easier to deal with that many items yeah, yeah rocket craft and some great water stream in the nether what Waffle. auto crafting rocket sounds amazing yeah i think it'll be fun i'd say it would be a, uh... having auto crafting is like it's, it's, it's actually a redstone of dream because it gives us a lot more items and a lot more way of a lot more ways of doing redstone. right yeah a lot more options yeah like you saw the, the like you saw that one design I made for auto crafting sea lanterns, mm -hmm. which was I mean that was I mean that could have been done for any cross pattern uh, item. Right. It wouldn't have worked for anything but but cross patterns. But I mean I did create it and it worked. Right. What I don't get it is what and running make you even get hotter of the spider. I don't know, it depends. If you're sitting in that desert sun, I'm sure it just like, it's melting. <laughs> oh yeah. So it's like survival and it just runs to where it needs to go. Oh, going across South Dakota. For two of the days, it was 107 degrees outside. Oh, that's awful. Oh, yeah. It's like the faster you went on the highway, the hotter it got. Yeah, right. Because there was no, there was no, there was no wind. And then one of the days, it was so, it was so freaking smoky because they had grass fires going on in South Dakota and Canada. And it was all blowing down into uh again to us. Hmm. So since both of them are running for their lives, person because they're scared of spiders and the spider wants well, doesn't want to boil in the sun alive. <laughs> I've seen it happen. That sounds about right. 
I see soldiers running from them and watching the spider chase them, and we're all sitting there laughing. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I would definitely be laughing. Yeah, we're all sitting there. We're all sitting there drinking water, just watching the, watching the spider chase them around. It's great. That's hilarious. And back then, we didn't have smartphones to take pictures. <laughs> Really showing my age now. Oh wow, my phone is so loud. I gotta turn the notifications off or something. People are like, "All right, you're streaming. I'm gonna send you all the texts in the world." Oh yeah, of course. So in a sense, both of them are running. For their lives, person. Okay, sorry, sorry, I read that. I'm zoning out. I'm a zoner. Let's see. If I was ever born as a spider, I would wait until someone closed their eyes so they're laying in bed and just hover over their face. <laughs> that's messed up, man. That is. That's like, yeah. Cruel. It is. Yeah, to evil. humans. That's, 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 really that's an evil way of thinking right there. Dude, I could probably just dump idiots right directly into that chest. Oh, Let's see. Oh. X is like, yeah, you should make some more roads, make some more grids. And I'm like looking and it's like, well, it's kind of hard. Uh, this one would probably work out though. If you pick, if you pick a spot, I'll put the, um, the rocket shop right there you picking a spot for rockets yeah just pick a spot out and that way you have a road going to it okay and then i'll build the rocket i'll, I'll build the rocket thing up just trying to think of a good spot to do it Let's see It would be worth dying again because first off, I don't want to be a spider, and second off, it's hilarious to see them jump. <laughs> I mean, I wonder. If, I mean, could you imagine being a spider though? Like every little spider civilian would be fearing to get smacked by a human. It's like one of the worst ways to die is in the spider world. Right. Like it's quick and painless, but it's still like you're just wiped. Like wham. You know, don't forget, Ed, I'm still coming for your head. All right, yeah, boy. <laughs> don't do it right now. Old. I've got 617 levels. Oh, that's a good time to come get it. Oh, no, that's <laughs> a terrible time to come get it. <laughs> it's taken forever to get this this many levels. I haven't forgotten about that, that, that whole stronghold fiasco. I did not do any of that. <laughs> it's like that subtle, like. <laughs> oh, there's a. Yeah, he um, we had I I had already finished two of the duping stations, and he's like, oh, we're gonna need two more, so that way it can it can keep up with the concrete. Okay, cool. So I went out finding. I went out and found them. One of the strongholds I dropped down into. No lie, this there was two spider spawners that were that were active when you were in the portal room. Oh no! <laughs> he look, he's laughing. So that that's <laughs> uh, that's proof. Must not be important. I, I, I how am I to blame? I I'd never have been there. I hadn't been there until after the farms were the the the, the whole thing was done. <laughs> And one of them I've only been to once. They're going to run straight toward one. <laughs> and I think the one that I've only been to once is the one that he's referring to. Because that's the one that's closest to your base, isn't it? Uh, no. No? Okay, then I, then I, have, I don't even think I've been to that one then. It's all the way down the yellow, the, the yellow t uh, path, I think. There's probably not even a pathway to it yet. Yeah, I haven't been to that part of the part of the out there. He's like, what? More? Oh no. 
Yeah, I figured I would I would build the the path. I built the path to my raid farm, so that's spirit. <clears throat> Alright, that's a little segment. I don't know. There's not really like a lot of space to do roads. No, this is gonna be worse. I think it's probably just gonna be better just to dump full chests and stuff. What's well, this is like a, <coughs> the most <coughs> random assortment of items I've seen? Cookies. Cookies. I like cookies. cookies. This would be a good spot for a firework shop. I think like right in between the potato farm and the post office. Yeah, that's a small enough area. Yeah, that's a good enough area right there. I could do it. I could do it right there. I'll put um fireworks and TNT in there. Nice. That out, we box. can dupe TNT. I mean, I mean we can dupe um, <coughs> uh, sand. So yeah, that's true. We need a mega furnace array out there, kind of inside the end island, I think, so we can do glass like in large quantities. Yeah, that'd be nice. If you ever know, disappear from chat, you ever get scared by a spider doing that? It was me. <laughs> okay. Keep it in mind. <laughs> yeah, I really think right here is a good enough spot. But... Hmm. Okay, okay, nice. Make it so much easier to hide light. Need it for anything. It does. It's great. Okay, so I think it's close enough to 1030. I'm going to probably just take a little break here. Just, you know, gather myself. This is cool. Get a drink, stretch your legs. Yes. Do the things. Uh, find something to look at. I'll look at Moose Library. Uh oh, Paula, there we go. I'd rather be up on top of a thing. So, oh no, I can't find my. There it is. I'd rather be on top of like a thing where I don't have to. There we go. I'll be right back. All right. I'll be right back too.
All right, back. That was quick. I could decorate this side too a little bit. Stepped away. All right, that's it's all good, buddy. It's more than jungle leaves, but I ain't got any. I don't even know where a jungle portal is. We even have one. It's okay. I guess I could use um, just regular leaves. Got oak, got spruce, and oh, I got a couple of jungle. It looks like I'll take them. Don't really need a lot of them, really. Do some blue in there, you know, give it like you kind of tone down that red a bit. Some of these leaves go to the tree farms for saplings. Uh, where is that at? Is it behind the back here? I don't know if I've seen this design. Where you guys keep the saplings at? It should be in the dropper right I mean is this where you stand for the oh okay oh I wasn't too smart okay so this goes through look at this and the hopper is where you first to uh Oh. Sweet.
I don't think I'll need a lot, just something to kind of keep me afloat. Looks like you guys got some nether tree stuff going on. I didn't see this. Okay, fancy smancy. Oh, that's much better. Got a few stacks. Thanks, Ats. Didn't even know that was back there. I didn't realize that there was slap saplings in it. I knew it was back there, but... That work. planning to use this rail system here? I'll just leave it there. Oh, this all got replaced. Wow, look at that. Cool. Welcome back. Welcome back. <coughs> Did you not see my comment? Uh, about the... What? Which one? The very last one that I said. Will the hoppers go up first After or whatever? That. After that. No. Well, check your chat. I'm looking at it. I don't see it. There's no, it's not there, really. It's there on my screen. We have one somewhere. Go to the tree farm for saplings, yes. And the hoppers where you first up, two up. And then there should be one more. Yeah, I don't see it. I'm scrolling down and everything. Really? Wow. I asked you where your hoe was. Oh. Huh. For the leaves, whenever you start first, whenever you made the shears. Oh yeah, I should have done that. I, I asked you where your hoe was. I need to get one of those hoes. Get your hoe out there, break him leaves. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Wow. You're, you're all you're all last year on the on the leaf breakage here, bud. They made that gum hoe. We need to we need to make a leaf tree or a leaf farm one that we can uh, collect leaves with. Oh, and give me a dad gum used hoe. <laughs> is there a farm for that? <laughs> Not yet, but we can make one. 
there no I've I've never seen a legitimate leaf farm. Yeah, that would be other a lot than of something manual. That uh, is actually pretty cool. We could do it with the azalea trees. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I had in mind. And dispensers to um break the leaves with shears. Uh, I like a sheep farm, but for leaves. I was thinking just make it a player with a hoe break the leaves, move them around in a minecart. Yeah, come home straight up. Should be able to get more leaves that way. It would just be a matter of removing the log, and then uh, so I would push the log up away from the rails, and what? then away. Okay. Yeah. That was see, probably see where, I, see where see how I'm going with that. Yeah. I mean, you would push, you would push the the dirt block, and all the logs up. I would say it would probably take a double piston extension at minimum because you're going to want to get it two blocks up yeah and then have that retracted back down the dirt block back into place and then push the rest of the log out in a column and then just worry about collecting the leaves from one side of the tree so you don't have to really cross to the other side or if we can figure out a good enough layout for the rails we could get it to where we could get both sides have okay. all the have the rail system on a hop, on hoppers. Yep. Hoppers funnel everything through. Uh, and then you get wood and leaves. I think it's completely doable. I think I so. I don't see why not. Donkey doesn't either. Uh, hook up a small cobblestone generator to or a, a stone and it would have to be regular stone I don't think cobblestone converts does it so this rest in peace frosty thing can it be removed or no yeah. oh, that okay. can be removed I, I would say that can be removed I'd say it it's outlived it's he's usefulness got, he's got a whole nother house yeah he's got like a <laughs> a screenshot for me ah uh, too late okay that's okay i got a i've got a backup i can i can load it up and get a, and get us that's too bad for it. it rebuild it somewhere else in the museum right see you, snowballs okay so we got a bunch of stuff here in these chests yeah i gotta really work on the hay bales wow look at that oh there, there's tons of hay bales right there i gotta bring some shoulders oh, over and get it i'm gonna need some of the I'm, i really do need some of the for target I, think, I think in the inside the perimeter is where i'm gonna put the storage on the, on the floor on the store of the perimeter yeah on the floor of it like um, main community storage yeah for the community so it's fully uh automated because i mean at this at the same time i kind of i kind of like the idea of building a different build for the different things like if it's going to be st like anything stone related have a building for it. I kind of like that idea too. Still, it's a it cool idea. Spreads everything out because it'll spread things out. How's the winery coming along? It's doing good. Hasn't it'll change much it'll give us more. <laughs> it'll give us more of an area. Yeah, it. yeah, a free shopping district. Yeah. Instead of it being shopping, it's a free storage district. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's going good, man. Uh, I haven't really played around with it much because I've been busy with some stuff. Like his sister went in the hospital, and then I got mandatory overtime, so I've been juggling that for the last two weeks, and I haven't really had the time to play. But... 
Been a good time, been a good time. That looks a little bit better. Got a little bit more life to it. Actually, this looks really good. I love the purple and the black. That looks so good. I think what else I could really put some, some time into for a bit. Probably gonna go for another 30 minutes or so and then just dip off, but oh, this could use some love, I guess. I don't know how to do it though. Wow, Birch looks really good. When did that texture get edited? I'm trying to figure out this birch. Is it my resource pack or what? It looks so good. It, it, yeah, it, it does look a lot better. It looks a lot different. Did they? Sure. Oh, is it just my texture pack or? I think it, it's got to be your texture pack. Oh, let me look at this. What are you running? Texture pack or? Vanilla tweaks. Right. You just got tweaks. It might be like the variation on it or something. Mm. It looks really good. It might be a new vanilla. It, it might be the new vanilla texture. Wow, it looks so good. It really does. Dude, those look a lot better. Like grittier. It, yeah, it takes a lot of the gray out of it. I think. Yeah, oh, yeah. Not, it also takes some of the black out too, so it's not as zebra. Right. It's more moo moo. Yeah, it's more Moo Moo now. Looks so good. I'm impressed. Well, did I tell you that I got my storage room done? Did you finally? Uh, yeah, my, it's it's all built. Mike, come take a look at that. Like, not all the chests are all, like, lined out, but... The ones, the first three sections that I'm actually using are, and then okay, I've got yeah, the section that I've been putting shulker boxes of stuff in. I'm running over there if you're over there. Yeah, I'm there now. Check it out. If I can fly. Okay, there we go. You're the pink portal. Pink portal. Me. I like how you ended up, like with that one night, like you know when Hex was like, you really let me do it? And it's like, it ended up just being you even though I said to as well. Yeah. Oh, oh it's changed. You got portal room now. Yeah, a couple things have changed. What's, what's, what's this over here? Oh, a little aquarium, okay. Little axolotls, that's nice. I've got another house built too. I'm yeah. the one that's above the axolotls is where I'm at. Currently. Oh, you're above the axolotls up here? Yeah. And this house? Oh. Yeah, that's, that's where I'm at in this little house. The front door's in the back. Oh, okay. All right. I'm gonna use the back door. Is that one of mine? Yeah. I changed it up just a little teeny tiny bit but, and redecorated it. But look, I did an interior. Yeah, this is nice. You like my lamp? I like my lamp. Yeah. Surprisingly, wool works really good. Yeah, I need to get. Is this like a bed? You need some like, snow layers for a pillow, yeah. Like different layers of snow. Wow, bed that actually looks pretty cool. It's just like wool blocks like that. I like it, man. The best way for pillows is to use a uh, banner. Uh, I've seen another trick with armor and stands and uh, armor stands and pushing stuff into it. I think I'm gonna put some water in the bathtub. Where's your? Uh, oh yeah, that's why. Okay, so my storage room is where my portal room is. So. 
Yeah, I remember you digging like the freaking huge hole, but I didn't know. Uh, oh yeah. Punch it. Right here. P punch it. Oh, okay. All right. Oh yeah, this is nice. Um, I like it, dude. This is sweet. I love the concrete too. Concrete and the like how it's kind of like peeking through the ceiling, you know, it's cool. Yeah, with all the the sea lanterns and whatnot. I gotta I gotta do a little something up there with the on the top side with the because you barely see the grass. You gotta look, but you can see a little bit of dirt up there. Yeah, I see it. Or the beacon coming through. But I've got to do something right above this area to. Donkey likes that. it. Thank you. It's um, it was kind of expensive to build. Uh, well, at least the four of us. Yeah, I'd say so. A little bit. Just a little, just a little expensive. And then my door. Look, pale. I've caught pale doing this. <laughs> For a while and then if you come over here to the other side of the portal i've got a double door here Ooh. and here's my tunnel that goes down to this looks fun black cat says flex <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Your am oh, your amethyst mining. Oh, you got water and stuff. That's smart. Got a place to breathe up here at the top. You can come down here and silk touch them. You can fortune them. Whatever you want to do right here. Collect them when you're done. Where you need and to get this, your little heart of the sea up. Yeah, that's. Uh, I need some more. I've got five shells. I need some more. But this is continues on to more geodes that are going to be just like this. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, and it's it wraps around like ten different geo sites. I um, I farmed my geo that I have at my base, and it uh -huh. ended up making like nine stacks of glass, ten of glass. Oh, oh yeah, I've got I got a whole section of my storage for ten of glass. Oh no, falling into your cave. See if you can fly from the bottom to the top. Through the cave? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Try it, but I know I'm going to probably I... die. Hold on, let me... Oh, boy! <laughs> that's like, that's a good little mini game. I like this. <laughs> yeah. So I want it to be like a super tight squeeze, but I want to be able to make it just big enough to be able to skillfully fly. Oh wow, well, that's tough to not hit anything. It is. I'm waiting for my heart to reach it. Okay. I made it to the top, but I've only got one heart left. Uh, <laughs> uh well, I didn't make it make it up quite. But... <laughs> yeah, it's tough. I could see it being doable. Yeah, it it is. Going down's fun. That was like, cool. Recharge up your hearts and, and fly from the top to the bottom. You can you can land all the way into the water if you if you get it right. <laughs> Woo! Oh no! <laughs> I didn't quite make it. Oh, Try it again. Ah, oh, amethyst sounds so amazing. Yeah, I like the sound of amethyst. Oh, let's give it a shot. Oh, oh gosh, no! It's so hard. Look at Flash. this, man! Look at this guy! What the heck? Flash, it is possible, my friend. I told uh, you, it's uh, well, totally go, doable. Go do it. You have to fully commit. It, which oh, is hard to do. It, so close. Have, yeah. I'm putting leaves down. Whoops. Uh, I think there was one there. I don't know. I don't oh. matter. <laughs> like I guess my inventory is so full that like it always stays full. I start working on a project and it's like my inventory's full. That's it. Oh yeah, it always happens. Don't make it. Let's try it again. Oh, oh 
Oh no. Dang it, it's, it's so hard. It's a tight squeeze. I might open up the, open up it. No, I might not. I think I can't. Like Back? Oops, must have scrolled and not realized it. Okay, there we it's, go. So at one part of it where it kind of goes down and turns. Yeah. You have to, you have to really, like, really go down. Yeah, that's where I'm and messing then, up. Yeah, and and then the turn back up is up into the right just a little bit. And Dang, it, dude. Yeah, it's 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 rough. Uh, I seen you and panicked. Take care, Black Cat. <laughs> you have a good one, buddy. Uh, see you next time. <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, I messed up right at the beginning. Ah, jeez, dude. I mean, this is I made it all the way back up. Ah, I keep hitting something. Down. I'm trying to do it without hitting anything. One more time. If I don't make it, oh well. Wall of shame for Walker. Ah, oh, no. Dang it, I got close though. I'm going on Donkey. This, this, this might end up being a, a, a game. It's, it's pretty cool. I like it. By the, time, by the time it's over with, I might make it a little bit easier, but I mean, I did. I like it. the challenge, yeah. I like the challenge of it. So there's obviously I'm gonna put another one of these three by three pistons doors here. I just haven't got it got to it yet, but there's stuff behind this door that's well that's not in the but... Your murder room, okay. I give you a peek. Oh wow, okay. I got an idea. You can, you may or may not be able to guess what's probably gonna go in there. It kind of looks like a villager trading system no 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 we have one of those super smelter right? bingo <laughs> no ads. god every, every base has to have one of those oh yeah super smelter is like a must have yeah and uh so yeah uh yeah be sure donkey the night you can be <laughs> did you see you no you haven't seen I showed you, I think I showed you a picture of the building that I'm mimicking my build off of on Discord. But I don't think you've been over on the creative build to see. I yeah, I haven't even, I've, I've never even been on the creative server. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then, um, my island's too small for my building. So oh, okay. I, so, um, my building might land a little bit on your build Gene Island a little bit, maybe. It's all right. I'm worried about it. I still got no, some. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try to get it to where it doesn't, but I don't even know exactly how I'm going to place this thing on here yet. I've got a lot of consideration I, to do on my builds, too. So when you say that building might land on my island, is it like going to be like over here it's, or the, in the center? No, it won't be over in the center of it. It's not quite that large. Oh, okay. But oh. it's going to go, it's one end of it is going to be covering up the part of the stairway that goes up and the stairway that goes down and my beacon and all that. It's going to cover up all of this area, just barely, just a little bit barely. And then the rest of it is either going, I'm going to either A, tear that house down that's up there on the hill and relocate it, or it's going in that direction. Oh, okay. I'm not, not just saying quite, not quite for sure. It's probably going to have to go that direction. It'll be a good direction. 
and it's probably going to go from about where we were standing to uh, probably here-ish. Okay, that's a big building. Probably. If I had to guess, it's like 200 and some odd blocks from one end to the other. Jeez. Yeah. I think I lost my marbles whenever I was doing this, but I'm still... <laughs> Oh well. Go big or go home. And I'm already at home. Very true. What'll be really nice is if if I get one of those that that I nine that I I was telling you about earlier. Oh that'd be sweet. Yeah, I get think some <laughs> heavy processing over here. Yeah, I think I think that's going to be a thing. I need like a good tree up here. Look, do you see how bad my tree is? Not bad. Oh, this tree sucks. A little, a little slanty, a, but you know. It's a Minecraft tree. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, I did, yeah. I it, forgot azalea trees do that weird bin thing. Yeah, that that's just an azalea. That's the best I got. I, want, I really wish I could go make a schematic of Hex's black and black tree that he did. That'd be cool. And Trevor's still up. up Is it? Yeah. Oh, I'd have to go get the IP address, uh, the IP and everything. Well, I got the IP. <laughs> I think. Uh, I do too. I do too. It's, it's on the server information. All right. Give me a second here. If you, uh, I don't know if you still have like super easy access grab me a schematic of that thing i'll build it on top of one on top of my building yeah i might have it uh one second all right okay so yeah i think i'll go ahead and end off the stream tonight uh things slowing down it's friday night gonna chill got my wife coming home so adios you guys have a good night and good weekend